Can I get your take on another, uh, let's say, polarizing topic? So, yeah. Obviously, uh, headlines are chock full of AI and artificial intelligence and all its many variants. Uh, for a blue collar business, a contractor, a home service company, where do you think AI has real utility? And where do you think it is less view- less useful and even in some instances kind of backfires? You know, it's a, it's a very interesting question. Um, I, I will tell you where I think it's um, the, the couple of points where I've seen it be useful. Um, and then maybe I'll share some thoughts on uh, why I do not think it's a terribly disruptive technology for many contractors in the industry Perfect. as a whole. So where I do think it can be effective is um, um, kind of those those menial um maybe marketing driven or office driven tasks. Um, the reason for that is there's a, a data set that exists out there, mostly because we, you know, those marketing and um, kind of admin level tasks um, live in a, a document, a spreadsheet on the internet somewhere. And that information can be digested, processed and normalized to be used in one of these large language models or into some automation um, at, at some point. So I think there might be some gains there and specifically marketing. Like I've seen, I was sitting with my sales guy this morning and he was, he was using chat GPT as a, as a brainstorming partner. So a whiteboarding session, um, so to speak, to come up with some um, email copy that was maybe a little bit more creative. So Think of it as like a, a, a brainstorming partner, maybe in those cases. And what I would ask contractors to think about is like, how many times do you ask for that brainstorming partner? <laughs> um, probably not many. Um, and so we had some interesting discussions around that. It actually did a pretty good job in, in, in some cases on uh, providing us with some ideas, uh, but it didn't get us all the way there. It wasn't a 100% automated uh, thing. It still needed some human input. Um, but it, that was that was relatively effective. Um, I think there's some automation. You know, I've seen some really interesting things done with uh, you know so-called agents through Zapier. Um, you know, I think that stuff will continue to get better. Those agents are basically programmed to go out and perform tasks. Um, sometimes not even when prompted, they're just kind of out there listening to data that you provide it and are able to complete tasks for you. Mm. Um, again, I think that's. Um, you know, could maybe be some uh, efficiency gain to kind of the office realm mm-hmm. of a, running a contracting mm-hmm. business. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the the maybe more interesting part of the discussion in my mind for contractors considering or thinking about how AI is affecting the, the trades um, is thinking about how unstructured the data of on-site construction and remodeling and service is it is and and spoiler alert it's very unstructured Mm -hmm. um especially when you get into more complex projects um you know maybe you can make a case for garage doors right garage doors are pretty pretty Mm -hmm. simple but there's a lot of variability when you get into you know to that last 10 percent of well, you know, what's the exact situation at this given home? Um, what year was it built compared to the other ones that we've serviced that are in our database we might be able to make some predictions on? there. And then when you get behind the walls and, you know, each home's built so differently, when you look at it, this, the data does not exist in many of these cases to um, bring large-scale true AI to even think about building robotics to do this work. Um, So there's two giant leaps that I think need to happen for contractors to be worried about their day jobs being disrupted, at least on the on-site side of things. One is that the data needs to be structured. I think that's a hundred year quest, frankly. Um, And then the data needs to be structured and the robotics need to be sophisticated enough built on top of that data for you know, the local plumber 
the outdoor living contractor, or you name the rest of trades, to ever think about the on-site portion of the contracting industry to be truly disrupted by AI mm. and robotics. You're saying the roll up your sleeves and get the work done part of a contracting business is decades away from being disrupted, but the bookkeeping could be, um, you know, the yeah. some of the admin tasks could be, um, some of the data tracking could be. Uh, but, but when it comes to like the IRL <laughs> version of our business of which like 78% of it is, uh, that's actually like, mm -hmm. like, let me put it this way, Jeff, if blue collar businesses were a stock were actually, no, they were an amalgamation of mm -hmm. stock, something like the S and P 500, 500, there was like, we could, if we, and we could just mm -hmm. say, okay, we we're going to put all of the. Builders, landscapers, painters, roofers, spray foam companies, pool builders, et cetera, on this one index. You're kind of saying AI would actually be good for that stock today because it it, it, it places a higher value on those roll up the sleeves type tasks that we're really, really good at. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I think it's that's largely in contrast to, um, you know, those data based um, you know, attorneys, um, uh, if you look at even some of the medical field, um, mm -hmm. you know, you look at x-ray techs, right? Uh, radiologists, that's very, very close to being disrupted in a very, very major way, right? Because there exists a um, database within hospital systems and, you know, certainly at some level, likely in the insurance uh, providers, um, the ability to start to predict why x-ray, you know, 2 million out of the other 199, you know, 1,999,000 should be the way it, it should be read the way that it is. Um, so there's some, there's a lot of these high skilled um, industries and professions that are far closer to being disrupted in a major way yeah. than the trades are. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there, there's something. There's somewhere in the neighborhood of 250 million homes in North America. And to go back to your idea of like how clean or how structured the data set is, I don't know that there's a spreadsheet that has the exact placement of every pipe and every beam on the inside of the walls and you know with the the ratings on every window and the pitch of every the pitch of every roof and like I don't think that that exists. The only place it exists is in reality. Yeah. And so that's what almost that's what puts a uniquely uh, a unique and new and rare value on the skills and the prowess and the propensities uh, and the talents of tradespeople and tradesy businesses. And I think, I think that's a very, very interesting conversation, a very interesting point to make. Listen, if you like that clip, you can watch the full episode by clicking here. If you're not yet subscribed, you probably should be, and you can do that by clicking right here.